only 5,000 dead in, in Iraq and 190,000 dead to their own hand. I always had an issue with it. It seems like I've lost more of my brother's stateside than I did in combat. Talks about the little girl smiles. Nobody knows her pain because the little girl smiles. Uh, and so a lot of the guys, you, you don't know they're hurting because they're always smiling. They're always ready with a joke. They're, they're the ones that we look up to, to pick us up. We're, we're looking to them to cheer us up, to lift us up. And so they're kind of our rock. And I think that's why it hurts worse that uh, we lose them uh, the way we do. And he got hit four times from his left shoulder, right shoulder to his left hip. And like I say, we was there laying there for 30, 40 minutes before we could go. And he died two hours after we got him back to the hospital. He didn't make it. The Veterans Art Center gives me a place to come to where I can build my skills in doing various projects because they're all different. You have to be different because you can't make the same thing over and over. I was totally messed up, totally lost, about to raise Bulldoze Town, and case manager at the VA brought me to this place. Well, that case manager uh, said, Bert, you can't go wrong with this place. Well, that's true, you can't go wrong. Without Wendy here, there'd be nothing here for the veterans, not whatsoever. This is it. And we can have veterans that have very creative spirits in their heart and their mind and their soul and their body, and put they can put that into wood, they can put that into artwork, they can put that into anything in here. The Vets Art Center saves lives.